Hey guys, I'm Nix and this is the Toyota Velos. I'm here with Toyota Motors Philippines, test driving the all new Toyota Velos. So we came all the way from Makati and we drove all the way down here to San Pablo, Laguna to give a good shakedown on the Toyota Velos. Toyota Motors Philippines positions the all new Velos as their subcompact SUV. There are going to be two variants for this one, the G and the V. The first trim is the G, starting at 1.185 million pesos, and then the V starting at 1.225 million pesos. The one you see right here is the V variant with the Platinum White Pearl Mika, which is 15,000 pesos additional, making the total of the car you see right here 1.24 million pesos. So whether you get the G or the V, it's gonna look exactly like this with two differences. One, when you go inside, you'll have a nine inch infotainment system, but don't worry, both will have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And with the V variant, the other thing you'll get additional is the Toyota Safety Sense. Other than that, whether you get the G or the V, they're practically the same. Now let's go to the mechanicals of the car. Whether you get the G or the V, they both come with a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine and a dual mode CVT. It is the traditional CVT, but when you go high speed, it shifts from the pulley system to a drive gear. You can read more about it. I'll put the link down below if you're watching this on YouTube. The Toyota Velos will come with a split type LED headlight, which is really cool, but it gets even better with the sequential turn signal. And as far as I know, this comes with a country exclusive over fender over here. So if you look at the press releases of other countries, they don't have this over fender over here. Looking at the interior right now, it really reminds me of the Toyota Rays. So if you haven't watched our review on it yet, click up here for the review of the 1.2G Toyota Rays. Just like the Toyota Rays 1.2G, it has a digital instrument cluster over here. There's a drive button over here, change drive mode. So if you press, uh, short press, it's power. Long press, it's eco mode. And then we have a button over here on the lower left that actually switches the camera view. So you have front camera, both top view and front view. And then we have side view. And then we have the rear view. When you reverse, not only will you see the top view and rear view, you'll also see the wheel positioning, which I think is a good addition to all this. And then here, the V comes exclusive with a nine inch infotainment system. But whether you get the G or the V, both come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Testing out the system, it was very responsive, love it. We have brake hold over here. So if you're in traffic, you can hold on to the brake, you can let it go, rest your feet. And then when the traffic starts moving, you just have to press on the accelerator. And then we have an electronic handbrake over here. And then for those who use wireless charging, this comes with wireless charging. Oh yeah, take note. If you're going to plug your phone, you will find the USB outlets here on the passenger side. We're here at the second row. This chair is all the way back. You can see a lot of headroom. There's like this nice head scoop over here for a lot of headroom. I'd say around eight inches. And considering I'm on 5'11", that's a lot of headroom. What I really like about this all new Toyota Velos is the pockets over here. So you can put your phone over here, like uh, with the port out there. You can put like, let's say you have a book or something, you can put it over here. There's a nice huge pocket over here. And the reason why you can put your phone upside down here is because there are two USB ports over here to charge your devices. I think they should have moved the cell phone pocket from here to here so that you don't need much of a cable to reach here. But other than that, I love the rear passenger seat designs here at the back. And then you have a single cup holder over here. The side doors also have cup holders. For the interest of time, I was able to record the different configurations of the second and third row. So when it comes to cargo space, the Toyota Velos is very versatile. I'll throw a quick montage of uh, the different settings. When it comes to seating arrangement, I promise you the Toyota Velos is very versatile. So this is the driving impression of the all new Toyota Velos. Let's go. Like what I said a while ago, the all new Toyota Velos uses a 1.5 liter gasoline engine, naturally aspirated, with a dual mode CVT. It is a traditional CVT, but at the end of it, there is a physical gear for high speed, which allows 
for better cruising and overtaking speed. If you're driving around the city, you will be impressed with the CVT of the Toyota Velos. It's very responsive. When it comes to power delivery, whether it's eco mode or power mode or normal mode, I like how the Toyota Velos responds so well and caters to the different needs as best as possible. But what's interesting is the Toyota Velos, yes, it takes the form of an MPV, but there's, there's like this personal touch to it. Like if I have to put this in one sentence, the Toyota Velos feels like a direct upsize from the Toyota Race. With the Toyota Race, it's all about enjoying car ownership. So they give you a practical car in a very enjoyable package. The Toyota Velos is just the same. Together with the practicality, it is in such an enjoyable, fun package. So, who is this car for? Just like the Toyota Race, the Toyota Velos is a very personal car. There's a lot of emotion to this car. You can see it through the design alone. If you look at the outside, it's very angular, it's very aggressive, but in a beautiful kind of way. If you go inside, you'll be impressed at the futuristic look to it. Plus, the whole ownership experience, when you consider the interior and the standard equipment that it comes with, it's really impressive. So, if you're looking for a MPV or AUV that's more of a tool to get from point A to point B, Toyota has you covered with either the Toyota Avanza or the Toyota Innova. You can either go up a class or go down in the price range. But if you're purchasing this kind of car, which has more involvement of you being an owner, there's more emotion involved in this purchase. Just like how the Toyota Race is the mini SUV of Toyota, the all-new Toyota Velos is that emotional subcompact SUV purchase. If this makes you feel good, then the Toyota Velos might be just for you.